back his time. The gentleman from Florida is recognized with three minutes remaining. To be clear, I tried to get one of the three podiums on the Republican side, and y'all wouldn't let me have them, so he sent me over here. But you know what? I'll make this argument at any desk in this building, from the well, from the chair. I'll make it on every street corner in this country that Washington must change. We have to break the cycle. We have to break the fever. And I would hope truly that the reforms that we are fighting for are reforms that would last and be embraced and that would democratize power in this institution beyond the privileged few who back us up against shutdown politics and, and Christmases and deadlines in order to achieve their objectives. Mr. Speaker, high inflation is on the verge of bankrupting American families. Our economy is breaking in half. A typical American family can't afford to buy a house in 99% of U.S. counties. Inflation is stealing more than $700 a month from working Americans, nearly $9,000 a year. Kevin McCarthy is the Speaker of the House of Representatives, and he has failed to take a stand where it matters. So if he won't, I will. I make no apologies for defending the right of every hardworking American to afford a decent life for themselves and their families. And we have a greater opportunity to do that and to build coalitions under new leadership. We have to rip off the Band-Aid. We have to get back on a better course. And Mr. Speaker, I don't know how this vote's going to go. Usually when a vote comes to this floor, it's pretty predetermined. And this one, I'm not so sure. But I am sure that we've made the right argument, that this place deserves single subject spending bills, that we should have 72 hours to read a bill, that something that spends more than $100 million shouldn't be put on the suspension agenda such that we can't amend it. And there shouldn't be secret side deals made on a continuing resolution to lump Ukraine in with border security. That is, a, that is not right for Ukraine or border security because it fails to give either of those issues the dignity that they would require. But we can return that dignity to this House. We can get back on a better path. We can have single subject appropriations bills. We can set a budget, a budget top line. We haven't had a budget in this place since I was in high school. So let's get a budget. Let's get our act together. Let's get on with it. Let's vacate the chair and let's get a better speaker. I yield back.